I think I'm going to start calling it a Monroney again in 2023. Okay. Because I don't care. Paul told us. Uh, what, who told us that? I think there's a guy named Paul. Oh, okay, Paul. Well, get educated. I think we should we should write a set of daily motor rules, and that should be one of them. If you give us a car with a diff lock... It will be taken off. Even if it's a center diff lock, or if the car has any sort of drive modes that insinuate that it could go off-road. Mm. Or if it has any sort of like off-road theme. Oh, like that's right. Wilderness or that's right. Line well, those anything. obviously right. But if it has like mud ruts mode, a uh, hill descent control, hill descent the control. So the next BMW 3 Series we get, mm -hmm. it's gonna have to go to the off road section. Hey everyone, it's Chris and Charlie here with Daily Motor, and as you can see, today we're driving the brand new 2023 Kia Sportage. This particular car is an SX Prestige Hybrid model, finished in matte shadow gray. I'd like to point a few things right off the bat. Big meaty tires and good years. I suspect that maybe these are on for winter. I don't think so. They are all seasons though, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, I think they're just the normal spec for this car. I just think it's cool because, oh, shoot, it just pulled down my microphone and now it's gotten disgusting. Oh dear. Yeah. I'd like to point out, oh no. Oh, it came off of this. Did it break? No. No. Oh. Like, Charlie's having technical difficulties. I'll give you all a view of the car while he gets that sorted out. The front of it does look a bit like an alien, but we've seen this being a trend with some of the new Kias. If you watched our Kia Nero review, if that came out before this one, that car does kind of look strange as well. But this one may look even stranger, but kind of the, the same sort of philosophy that BMW has, where they'd rather have something unique and controversial than something bland. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, back to the tires. Yeah. A lot of times I think with these, these Korean brands, we're used to seeing things like Kumho's. So it's kind of cool to see them rocking. I don't like good years. Oh, you don't? No. Oh. Mm -mm. Well, uh, if you're a Goodyear enthusiast, we apologize. Let's take a look at the trunk. Let's see if I can figure out how to open it. It's probably powered. Do you like the new Kia badge? Yes. Did you know that uh, someone did a study and found... Well, I mean, not really a study because you can probably just look up search volume. But there's like 1,300 people a week look up KN car on Google. I or believe something, that actually because they don't know what it is. This is pretty. This is a little tall for a for a load floor. It's oh, nothing under here spare. except a tire. Yeah, some weight reduction there. Interesting that these aren't. Uh, this is not like a story. Yes, but Charlie. Maybe it's because it's the hybrid. Ah, uh, yes, plastic hooks. You got a 12 volt outlet. Mm, mm, this, this carpet feels nice. That folds all the way down, even with the seats all the way back, and you can do it from back here, and it goes pretty flat. So those are all good things. I am so cold, but yeah, the sun is out. Too. Yeah, we haven't seen the sun in a while. Did you do this? Did you touch that? I, I probably touched things. Yeah, is there a fingerprint? Yep. Told you, not Charlie. You're not allowed to yeah, touch this car. Touch this. Let me go get in. So with this new Sportage, they're trying to. to I have keep an observation. It. Okay. This color is beautiful. Is that no. your observation? What is this? Why is there just a line of stitching? Hmm. Style, maybe? Hmm. Okay, anyways, with the new Sportage, they're trying to... They're trying to be sporty, like, no pun intended. They, they want this to actually have a bit of ruggedness. And there's actually quite a bit I like so far. I love this color. Yeah. It's, like, almost coppery. And it kind of makes me think of a Jeep or a, or a Land Rover. It is kind of compassy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, look at, this. look at this. Wow! Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Look at the styling. Yeah. It looks kind of cool. Look at the style of that vent. Yeah, very styled car. It's kind of... Were you going to say phallic? Yes. I think it looks like a racetrack. <laughs> okay, uh, at least the shifter isn't phallic. Oh, Chris, these seats recline so far. Oh, and nice. we've got a big panel roof. We've got a black headliner. There's a ton of room back here. There is. Oh, it's got Harman Kardon also, which you tested. How is it? Is it like a B? It's it's Kia Harman Kardon. So it sounds decent, but has no power. Yeah. Does it have subs? Probably not. It does have a sub back there. Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it sounds decent. Oh, the viewers would have already seen that. I'm wondering where my heated seats are, because shouldn't this have heated seats in the rear? Yeah, it's a sex prestige. Yeah. Oh. Sad. Well, you do have USB C's in the seats. Yeah, C's. This is the hybrid model as well, which means we should get decent fuel economy. Yep, and Charlie's going to drive first because what we do the camera's on my face. As oh, we Chris, know you all. it doesn't say Sportage on the, on the sills. How oh, are you no. going to know what you're driving? Ah, that's wonderful. That's not that. Yeah, we should probably get out of the, get out of the way of this gentleman here.
He just loved to beep. Oh, I can't. Yeah. Adjust them. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> I was waiting for you to do that. Let's take a look at our window sticker. Thirty-eight grand. Paper. Thirty-eight grand and thirty-eight miles per hour. I think I'm gonna start calling it a Monroni again in 2023. Okay. Because I don't care. What Paul told us. Uh, what, who told us that? I think it was a guy named Paul. Oh, okay, Paul. Well, get educated. <laughs> Uh, 36,190 is the base price. The only option we have on this car, actually, the, the only cost option is the shadow matte gray paint for $595, which brings everything with destination $38,000 even across. Wow, really? Like flat? 38,000 even. I love that. Yeah. 38 seems to be a theme on this car. It's 38,000 even. It gets 38 city, 38 highway, and 38 combined. So I, this car likes 38, what? It has an excellent drive mode. Look at this, you go Whoa, oh, and go to, uh, go to um, there's no white face gauges. Yeah, they've been listening to us. Yes. Wow, this is so cool, because usually drive modes in these days in cars you have to click, click, yep. click. However, click. Charlie, you'll be sad to learn that it does not have a CVT. Because I know that you love CVTs and hybrids. Am I a CVT enthusiast? Yes, you are. Ooh, okay. Still making uh, very thin steering wheel. I like that. Yeah. This car has sixty-two thousand miles on it, so quite a few. <laughs> he means sixty-two hundred. We always add a zero for journalist miles. Oh, Chris, you'll you'll appreciate this. Touch the door. Oh, it's quite soft. Is it a center diff lock? It is. Wow. Parking cameras. That's a nice. Oh, that camera. is a nice looking camera. Oh, it's got this mode too. GTA mode. Oh yeah, you can drive in third person. <laughs> uh -huh. Although, it, except it's a white, white car. Yeah, yeah. Well, can you change the color. That, probably somewhere in some settings. <laughs> um, what like else? This, this, is, this does nothing. It's a very responsive steering and a responsive drivetrain as well. Yeah. I actually quite like this so far. Yeah, well, you went to the launch event of this car. I did. But, but it's it, been a it's, while. It's been a while, and it's also always different to drive it in person. Yeah. Or in, in our, uh, in our like, stomping ground. Yeah. This has always confused me with Kias. It, it takes a sec to remember where the, uh, like, climate mode is. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, they're putting this in everything now. Yeah, right? but to, so I'm saying to someone who just gets in, oh, look, yeah. there's your favorite car, a Malibu Max. Where? Oh, yeah. In a Mazda 6. The cooled seat's kind of loud, is the thing, Chris, that, I, that's, that's the thing that I've noticed. I was just starting to think that I was, that I was warm, or cold. Not that's a ton of room in there, space. but it's decent. I don't like this. This is, makes the car seem cheap. Large, plastic. Yeah, it's like the Rio. Chunk, yeah. Um, we do have paddle shifters. Chris will appreciate that. No. Well, I guess so. I don't know. I, I I find myself less inclined to paddle shift cars like this. If you're becoming more mature. Yeah. You paddle shift cars more than I do now. It's almost as just like a we farce. just yeah. You get a real tachometer when you're in. Sport plenty. Mode. It's got plenty of power. Yeah. Honestly, it's quite peppy. Peppy. Are we allowed to use that word? I think so. Okay. What what aren't we allowed to use? Premium, special. Monroni. So if you said that Monroni is very special, almost premium. Yeah, then you'd be. You'd be banned. Yeah. Charlie, remember this is. Well, it's probably not slippery anymore, actually. Oh my goodness gracious. Brake test. Yeah, now it's all just water. It was very slick this morning. A little sandy. Good rotation. I was gonna say, yeah, look Good at that. Body roll here. Ah, this is good. I was going to say that's going to be peril. If we were in the SQ7, I could have made that. Oh, yeah. You would have been farting all over him. Blah. USB A and C. However, you have to line in with an A. That's okay, because most people have USB A cords. Yeah, Kia and Hyundai need to get on the wireless CarPlay game. Yeah. What is the point of this? To pull the door shut? I think it's just style. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, because you pull the door shut here. We're going to need to do some sportaging. Yeah, where are you gonna go? Here. Oh, don't take this in the off-road section. That's gonna kill the matte paint. 
Oh, we're not in the off-road section. Oh, we are. Charlie. What? I just think that this is, if, if it's, anything's going to rub up against it, it's going to be very bad. Well, that's what they make, that's what they get for making a sportage. What's that mean? Oh, wait, I better turn on my diff, diff Yeah, button. turn on center diff. It, it was already oh, on. Okay. I was gonna put the visor down, but yeah, definitely nothing out here to puncture a tire either. No. no. Well, we got big meaty tires. You know, I did some intense off-roading with this car at the launch event, so I know it's capable of it. We were undulating; we had wheels off the ground. I mean, sure. it really was impressive. Oh, probably with the X Pro, which is just different tires. Yes. Yeah. Well, no, I think the X Pro is a little taller as well. Is it? Yeah, a little more ground clearance. They like to do that on launch events. Mm -hmm. Give you some like super extreme off roading that no one would ever do. Well, we'll do it. But we'll do it because we're Chris and Charlie with Daily Motor, and as always, off road on. Off road a car that shouldn't be off roading on. It's a sportage. It's Chris. a sportage. Do you think when they specced this particular car with the red seats and the matte exterior? Do you think that they expected uterists to take it off-road? If there is a diff lock, then it deserves to be off-road. I think that should be... I think we should we should write a set of daily motor rules, and that should be one of them. If you give us a car with a diff lock... It will be taken off. -road. Even if it's a center diff lock, or if the car has any sort of drive modes that insinuate that it could go off-road. Mm. Or if it has any sort of, like, off-road theme. Oh, like that's right. Wilderness or that's Timberline right. Well, those obviously right. But if it has like mud ruts mode, a uh, hill descent control, hill descent the control. So the next BMW 3 Series we get, mm -hmm. it's gonna have to go to the off road section. And we'll be giving you the car here. Who's who is this? It's just a place. Okay. And it dings when you put it in park because yeah, it finds an excuse to beep at everything. I do love to beep. I like these wheels. Yeah, they're nice. Chris, you utter buffoon. Why did that lock you out? I don't know. Uh, okay, first time in the new Sportage. Well, first time in the driver's seat, I should say. Yeah, and you might end up spending a lot of time in the Kia Sportage because your better half might get one. Yeah. Move this up so people can see the. And you can buy one from your friend at Kia of Kim. Whew, this feels nice. Oh, my stomach's growling. Okay. Decent steering feel. Let's see how these tires do braking on snow. Pretty good. Yeah. It That's stopped. Odd. It stopped. That's right. Chris, be careful. I don't think you're in snow mode anymore. No. Oh, crap. Thank you for looking out for me there. Yeah, yeah, wouldn't want you to have an accident. Yeah. Oh yeah, look how much nicer it stops now in snow mode. Mm -hmm. Let's put the brakes into snow mode in the tires. They just work better. It, it releases little studs from the tires. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. It reacts so quickly. That's what I'm saying. You can, hold on, no, because you, when, you, when your foot's on the accelerator, you can keep it in the exact same spot, and as you, oh, my, wow. my foot did not move That's through any of that. Yeah. yeah, you can feel the throttle response. This person's cooking. What are they driving? Is that a Marauder? No, oh, it's a town car. No, no, it is. Oh no, it's, it's a, a uh, Grand Marquis. We were both wrong. Pretty much, if you took my guess and your guess and combined them. That's right. Nice. Not the smoothest shifting gearbox like that though because you like to be abused by no i don't motors. i don't like that you can build a pro we just drove the sq7 and you said that this is what a premium transmission should feel like yes. you said it i think we have it on camera <laughs> play it back yeah okay i just see the stool paint glass what do you think the horn sounds like pretty good it's a horn uh, I quite like this whole layout. It's really well done. How do mm. I wipe the... Ooh, very nice. Goes, goes past the B-pillar. Good. And it's got a handle. I really like this car. Oh, hold on. How do I wipe... How do I uh, washer fluid the rear? Push one? it away from you. Oh, yes. That is excellent. Never been 
bunch of drips on mm. it. Chris is a drip enthusiast. I'm not a drip enthusiast. He's always got that drip. Thank you. Yeah, steering wheel's nice. I mean, it's just... It's, Everything seems very well laid out. Yeah. Is the screen too far away? It's pretty far yes. for me. Yes, it is quite far. The good news is Emily will sit this far from the steering wheel. Oh, so she doesn't enjoy having a face. If she you know what? She actually, here. jokes aside, she actually doesn't sit super close for being five foot. Alyssa used to sit very close, and I told her it was dangerous, and she's moved back since. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, a lot of piano black and different shades. Hmm. This is more brown. Yeah. I don't think, I doubt, doubt that's on purpose. You don't, you don't think it's just from the sun angle? What is 12 volt battery reset? Do you actually want me to describe it to you? It's a hybrid thing. Oh, yeah, well. All right, if your hybrid battery dies so much that it can't start the car, it trickles some charge from the 12 volt battery into the hybrid battery so that it can start the vehicle. Okay, that wasn't as boring as I was expecting. So we'll be spending the week with the Kia Sportage Hybrid. Yes, we will. Essex Prestige. Yeah. And I can't find many things that we're going to dislike about it, except for it beeping all the time. Also, what is that? I was, yeah, I said that. We literally the, have the top trim. I said that on the intro. I said there's a blank button. Mm. It could be some sort of a shift release or something. I like that feature that Hyundai Even though it beeps have. at you. That's one of the acceptable beeps. Mm. Can we get in a Kia at some point and try to turn off as many beeps as possible? That would be a fun separate video. Is can you make a Kia not beep? Yeah. It literally has a quiet mode. What does this do? That's for the, it turns off the oh. rear speakers. All volume above 25 will be decreased to 25. Okay. God, my seat's getting very hot. Yeah. Thank you. And it has the cluster cameras, which I know you love, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Charlie thinks those are a great usable feature. Yeah. Just leave everything on for now so Emily can experience all the beeps. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Talk at you now. Mm -hmm. All right. Headed down 94 right now in the Kia Sportage. And as you can see, the screen is completely frozen. It's frozen on Waze. It thinks I'm on Rossville Road, which I'm clearly on the highway right now. And I thought it was Waze that froze at first, because usually Waze does have issues where it'll freeze. You got to restart it and everything. But the screen, completely frozen. It won't do anything. So. And I'm trying to navigate somewhere, so <laughs> it's good. Um, I have a feeling this is going to be a case of shut the car off, turn it back on. But I don't really have time to do that right now, so good cool. stuff. All right, guys, wrapping up our week here with the 2011 <laughs> Ford. Oh, wait, no, we're in this. Wrapping up our week with the 2023 Kia Sportage. Looks like Charlie's getting behind the wheel. I'm locked out. Charlie, you must have a lot to say about the Sportage since you leapt behind the wheel. First. Well, I'm just not a getting wet enthusiast, so I didn't feel like sitting out in the rain to walk okay. around in a Okay. Well, you're driving first, I suppose. I actually do have quite a bit to say about this car. Do you? I really like it's it. It's good, because I don't. Really? Oh, do you want your heated steering wheel on? Yes, okay. I do. Yeah. Thank you. Um, fun fact, uh, this morning I got in this to drive, and I double tapped the drive, because I'm used to doing that. They've all been going for D to B. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I actually quite liked this car. Okay. There's... It... You can tell when you get in a... Uh, when you're in a very good car, when it's when you start to think to yourself, okay, what are the things they could improve on for future model years? Not like, okay, this is bad and it needs to be improved just to be a decent car. This is to the point where it's quite good, and now it's just asking, like, how could it be even better? Right. I really have very, very little to complain about this car. I like the, the feeling of the steering wheel. I like the general layout of the wheel. It's very straightforward, no capacitive crap, very mm -hmm. easy to click. Look at all these rockers, you know, volume's very easy to do. Your uh, active steering is right here, not in some weird place hidden mm -hmm. away. This is an excellent setup for everything. You get right in, you can jab these two buttons immediately. Yep. Yep. Everything is on. If you're <laughs> cooled, it's the same thing. You can just press that. Drive mode, super easy. Shifter, super easy, and a very nice spot spot to reach. Yeah. Good amount of storage up here for Wireless things. charger. And a lot of storage right in here. My Don't large my water cord. bottle. Yes, my large water bottle fits right in here. Yeah. Um, oh. With this open. And then if you have a tighter water bottle, you know, you just snap your fingers off and close that. Yeah. The gauge cluster, 
very straightforward to read. This is a little bit far away, so that's that's a yeah, gripe of mine. Yeah, he's been doing that. Yeah, yeah, Kia, we saw that with the mirror and too. Yeah, it's very very far away from you. Pretty design though. I've always I always liked their home screens and everything that they uh, do infotainment wise. Mm -hmm. Especially this big continuous piece of glass. It's like Mercedes style. Yeah, it really is. But no, the reason I didn't have much to say about it is just pretty much similar to what you said. I mean, like everything just you get in it and it just does what you want it to do. The only thing that's a little bit frustrating is this thing because I'm still not used to this new Kia climate control slash media panel. So like, you know, I'll reach down to do my volume and it turns the temperature up to Charlie spec, 90 yes. degrees. Um, otherwise though, I mean, it's a good car. I, I didn't have any issues with it at all, no. except for oh. the first day I had it, mm. I went to drive up to Livonia and I had my navigation set in Waze. And the viewers will have already seen this because I put a little piece to camera okay. in there. Um, but the screen froze for 40 minutes. Wow. Even yeah. with CarPlay? Yep. Like you unplug CarPlay and everything, it's still frozen? Well, no, because I had my... Well, no, it, it, yeah, it, it, nothing would work. Okay. It, like nothing would work. Um, wow. But I was driving, I didn't want to pull over mm -hmm. and like restart the car. Okay. Um, That's frustrating. And it didn't regain consciousness until I pulled into the parking lot, put the car into reverse, the backup camera came up. That's good. And then I put the car in park and then the screen worked again. That's a bit frustrating. Yeah. Mm. So. Okay. But um, I didn't have that problem after the first day okay. and I still drove it quite a bit mm -hmm. and I, I never had that. Had yeah, that I see you actually drove it a good bit. We have 440 miles on our lawn. Yeah, I drove uh, it, uh, well I did the fuel economy test too, yeah, that was so 100 miles. So 300 miles. It something. didn't do very, uh, yeah, well so you know what ask. though? It did exactly what you and I expected. 33, 34? Yes. Okay. And that's, I mean, usually usually For hybrids hybrid winter, don't, yeah, yeah, usually yeah. hybrids don't meet their EPA because they do better yeah. at a slower speed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I guess I, I shouldn't say that it did poorly. It did pretty much exactly what it, what it, yeah. And this is, a, this is fairly large. Like you compare this to the Mazda CX-5, there's a good bit more room in here. Than oh, the, the back seat's huge. Yeah. Back seat's got a little room. Yeah. The trunk's got a little room. They, they concentrated on that for this new Sportage. They made everything larger. Because that's, that's how the auto industry works now, for those of you who are not familiar. Every model with each new version of it gets larger. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets to a point where it's too large to fit in its segment, they slot in a new vehicle below it. Yes. And then that one continues to grow and grow and get larger. So like right now, we've got the Kia Seltos. That'll right. continue to get larger and larger until that's the compact. This is the midsize. And then they'll introduce a new model about 2033 yes. to take the place of the Celtos. That's true. They and will. same with the Soul and everything. Small gripe. And this is what I mean by these are the type of things that I think everything does work really well in this car, so you have to start nitpicking. I don't love how it always defaults itself to eco. Oh, you'd rather it be in smart yeah. or just stick with whatever you... Right, yeah, either stick with what you had or yeah. just smart is a nice drive mode because it'll adapt if you're driving economically, it'll drive economically. If you start mashing the throttles, it just it helps yeah. the car feel a little bit more lively. I don't like that it always goes back into eco mode. That's true. And on a similar vein, it would be nice, and this is a small nitpick, if when you cycled the ignition on and off and you already had your heated seat and steering wheel going, it would stay that way. We pointed that out in the Audi SQ7, uh, that it was nice how it just stayed with whatever it was set for. Yes, yep, yep. And I, I admit it's a little bit of a journalist complaint because I'll get in it, shut the car off, start the winding road drive, drive it, shut the car off again, and each time I'm like hitting it. Right. Admittedly, I mean, but think about if you're going to the grocery store, running into the yeah. bank or something like that. If you were cold before, yeah, you're, you're probably going to be cold, cold again. Yeah. Right. And the car could be smart enough, they could program in, okay, temperature's 39 degrees outside you'd like to have it. Probably yours. want to have it. Yeah, you yeah, Remember I've, that you've done it in the past. I've went into the climate control settings and I don't see yeah, a feature find it. that. Yeah. Ah. I also couldn't find a feature to have it not default in eco mode. Ah. Uh, what do you think about the ambient lighting? It, I mean, you got a lot of colors to choose from. It's, mm -hmm. it's like the Nero, though. It's just there and here. Yeah. And a little here. I think it's better than the Nero. It is a little. Well, it's because of this does. light right here. Yeah. I like the engine stop-start button in proximity to the shifter. Yeah, and you like the camera on the cluster as well. Charlie thinks that feature is stupid. You can clear it though, watch. You turn this on, you just press the OK button, it goes away. <laughs> because for me, I'd rather see how much uh, electricity I'm regening. Ah, yes. 
Also, I always... It should just be Charlie mode. <laughs> Charlie mode. I always drive with the hybrid screen up. So ah, I yes. My there you go. Flow. Of course you do. Yeah. Uh, what else? Did I get a thumbnail of this car? I don't know. We can take another I'll one. I'll get one just in case I forgot to. We had snow when we were driving this the first time. Oh, look at this, Chris. 6666. Six, six, six. Oh. That's good. It's not very holy of this car. Mm -mm. Although it's four. If it was three, it'd be less lucky, Correct. right? Yeah, it'd be worse. If yeah. it were three. So four. So if you add one to it, it's not as bad. Or if you subtract one from the I three. I think 66 is okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, you, you'd be the resident expert on that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. Um, Piano a, black, is that what you're going to comment no, on? No, because I, I don't think you're really touching this much. Like, uh, with, with also, dangling. it seems pretty robust because this car has, as we just said, the cursed amount of mileage. Um, and it's not really super scratch. I mean, it's a little scratch, but you'll see some piano black in these press cars and they're just destroyed. And this one actually seems like it's held up decently well. I love this color. Yeah, it's a nice... You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the E30 BMW Cardinal Red interior. I think most Kia Sportage buyers will consider. You should ask your friend who sells Kias mm. if people come in and say, hey, could I get that E30 color on my Sportage? Yeah. I don't think he'd know what an E30 was. <laughs> so I think most <laughs> no, of his no, customers no. would also not know what an E30 <laughs> is. No, I actually think he would. Um, but I was. It's the reason I'm saying this is I was just photographing an E30 for Bring a Trailer, and it had... It had this color interior, mm. and it's like identical to this. Nice. Maybe if I'm feeling energetic while I'm editing you'll, this, you'll I'll put, a, put in a photo of comparison. Well, you, I know you'll have some because you, you just said you shot them. Yeah, exactly. No sunglasses holder, no mirror camera, but this is quite nice. And I actually did use this feature this week when did I, was, I was coming up to a curb trying to make a turn in the windy road video oh, beforehand. Yeah. And I actually, I positioned it like this. You are an enthusiast of scraping curbs sometimes. Well, I try not to be. That's the Okay. Thing. You're yeah, an yeah. anti-enthusiast yeah, of yeah, scraping yeah. curbs. Yeah. Okay. So, so I, I, I monitored myself using this. I see. But I did hit this thing hoping that I could change the color of the car because that doesn't match. And, and They're all white. The case, yeah. Maybe that's for visibility purposes. Did you notice that it has the defroster? Yeah. So there. when Emily got in this, it's the first thing she noticed, she goes, is there a film on the windshield? Mm. Uh, right, she does not. She does not like that at all. We had a Land like Rover. We had a Land Rover once that had it, and yep. she like riding in it. She like hated she looking down. out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've never liked it when Land Rovers have done that, and I don't care for it much in this car. I actually don't mind it as much in this car. It's I didn't very even notice subtle. it. I mean, I I didn't notice it until like a a day after we had the car. I, mean, I just yeah. don't find it that necessary. You turn your defroster on. Like defrosters always work so well. Why do you need the wavy? Some waves? people want extra heat. In their lives, I guess. Yeah. Also, how do you feel about this little? I don't know what that is. We we mentioned this in the intro. I said, "What is this?" And you told me it was a design element. Yeah. Just, I, I mean, know. I don't know. Yeah. It's I, just there. I do like the design of the door handles, though, and they're very. What do you nice think? To... What do you think about price-wise? Considering this is an SX Prestige Hybrid, pretty much loaded, right? And it's thirty-eight, 38 grand. I think that's great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do think there are a lot of people who would be very okay with just an EX. Yeah. You might be giving up something like cooled seats, the panoramic sunroof, although you can option that with a package on the EX. Can you option cooled seats? I don't think so. I think you, have, you to have to step up. And, you, and also to get the E30 color interior, you, you have, have to get to, the Sex uh, Prestige. Yes, yes, yes. Also, I do think it's a bit silly that it goes directly from EX to SX Prestige rather than just SX. SX, yeah. But, no, for you can get a hybrid... EX that still gives you heated seats and and I think you still get the 360 camera or so maybe that's something you get in SX Prestige, but a lot of features that you want for like thirty two thirty three thousand dollars. Yeah, I think that's really good. Like most cars, the second lowest trim yeah. is, is the best bet. Yeah. Just like ordering wine at a restaurant. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Same sort of thing. Should we be getting wet enthusiasts and switch real quick? Yeah. Are you gonna grab a thumbnail? Uh, yeah. One last thing before I forget. I could only get the remote start to work one time. Ah, and yes. I did it the same way every time. Yeah. And I would come out to the car and it would be off. Yeah, Kia struggles with that. Because I tried it with the Nero last mm -hmm. week. I, I tried it once with this and it did work. It did work. It did okay. work. Um, to be fair, though, I was literally walking up to it in the Meyer parking lot and it, I wasn't very far away. But I tried it with the Nero when I was at my house and a couple of other times and it didn't work. Mm. So Strange. I don't know. It, maybe there's some sort of secret. If you're a Kia owner, or if you are the CEO of Kia, or if you sell Kias, yeah, let us know. Let us know what we're doing wrong with the remote start, or maybe it's just not a very good remote I, start. I stood in the same place in my house every time. Yeah. Did you use hill descent control at all? No. Hmm. Um, what was I gonna say? Striking appearance. Yeah. Very I, striking, especially with the matte paint. Don't love the looks, but as we know from BMW, striking. Better to be ugly mm -hmm. than to be boring. Yeah. That's right. 
And I do see the new Sportage just driving by, especially the rear end, and go, wow, that's a cool car. Like, it, it, it's neat. It, it has a presence, and I think that's important. You know what would have worked really well for the styling in this car? Uh, DRLs that surrounded the headlights. Oh, in yeah. Amber. And they could have done them in orange. You're yes. right. That, that would have done well. Yeah, that would have done well. Let me uh, turn your temp down to Chris spec for you. Here. They could have also implemented that on their large three-row SUV. Ah, yeah, the yeah. Telluride. Yeah, that's right. I bet people would have flocked to those that's, if they had, yeah. had amber yeah. DRLs. Ooh, that's that a car. Beautiful. Yeah. God, you know when you just drive a Volvo all week and you get into something else and you're just like, get me out of this. This does feel a bit grainy compared to that Volvo, doesn't it? <laughs> when, I, when I first got in this after driving the Volvo all week, just hearing the motor was yeah, like, Yeah, like, oh God. Yeah. No, I, I really do like this car. It is missing heated rear seats, though. Yes, yeah, so I drove my parents to dinner, uh, my mom's official retirement um, <laughs> celebration dinner. Man, she's had a lot of those. She has had a lot. Well, this was the final one because okay. we went to her favorite restaurant in Ann Arbor. Oh. And uh, I drove them in this, and it was really cold. We came out to the car, and foolishly, I said, oh, just turn your heated seats on. And they were like, oh, we can't find them. And I was like, oh, they got to be back there somewhere. This is an SX Prestige. So. <laughs> well, it gives Kia something to yeah. improve upon next year. Yeah, I was a little surprised that it didn't have them because the, the Nero had them. Yeah. You know, like... Uh, Okay, so here are the things that you get with SX Prestige. The wheels, the sunroof, the hands-free powered liftgate, which is unnecessary, the Harman Kardon sound system, which isn't very good, LED fog What'd lights give and that? headlights. give minus? I think like a C. You give it a C? Wow. There's no base. Yeah, I know, it doesn't have any power. But yeah. they're all like that, though. Like every, I know, but that doesn't make it any better. Every Kia Harman... No, I'm not saying it makes it any better. I just yeah. feel like you've given them Bs in the past, is what I'm saying. Mm, I don't know. May have been a B minus. It, def it sure definitely has no base though. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, the smart cruise control with stop and go, blind spot view monitor, surround view monitor. So you got to get the SX Prestige to get that thing. Uh, remote smart parking assist, which is pointless. You put this on low. Yeah, for you. <laughs> it's a little chilly. Put it up to 68. Memory driver seat and outside mirror. So that's a nice thing to have with the SX Prestige. The 12.3 Supervision cluster. So the gauge cluster up there, which is nice, but you don't need to pay that much for. The heated windshield, which we agree is unnecessary. Mm -hmm. And the dual illuminated vanity mirrors. Oh, and the ventilated seats. And the power adjustable front passenger seat. So all of those are very, just very much like, okay, that's nice. Yeah. But like, I wouldn't pay six grand for all that. My friend that works at Kia was told not to order or sell any cars with matte paint. Oh, because the customers would come back and say, why is my paint damaged? Yes. Mm. I so, believe that. Yeah. yeah, they were told that during EV6 training because the EV6 Ooh, comes yeah. in that comes in the same color, I think. Yep, shadow matte gray paint. Yeah. What did you say the name of the E30 color interior? Cardinal is? red. This is carmine red. Carmine red. I think it's cardinal red. I could be wrong. So maybe they maybe they really were inspired by that color and they just barely. You know, I like to think that one. every design team slash engineering team has at least one or two like real car enthusiasts on it and they can slip in little things like the genesis gv60 you could tell like there were some real enthusiasts on the team that built yeah. that car and sometimes you like to see little easter eggs here and there of maybe someone had some inspiration not saying that this is definitely someone was like well i don't imagine e30 but i mean maybe they did yeah so it's nice to think that we've used 0.3 of a kilowatt but it just said 0.6 earlier, so how's that work? Actually, I don't. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, do you really, really want don't to know if I actually want to know. This is like when Clarkston asks James May, like, yeah. to describe something about the car they're driving, and he gets into a diatribe, and then they show him asleep. Yeah. Ah, yes. How do you feel about the headliner? You're, one, you're an enthusiast oh, of those. Well, it doesn't feel particularly nice, but it is black, and I like that with the red interior. Yes. I wish all cars just had steering you could do with your pinky, like the well, Volvo. You, yeah, you should have driven an Accord to have a power <laughs> I should have. I know, we need to buy an Accord and write it off completely as a business expense because it's a palate cleanser. Well, it's wait, like ginger with sushi. There are like 22 cars at our shop right now just parked outside, and the fact that none of them are Accords is, one, telling, and two, kind of a shame. It is quite telling. Yeah. Well, we've spent the week with the 2023 Kia Sportage SX Prestige Hybrid. Yeah, we quite like it. I quite like it. I yeah. really think that this is probably the top three in this class for me. 
and I looked at the class before getting in here, I, I, I think this is a good alternative to the CX-5 if you have a family. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, you could get away with the CX-5 with one kid, but it would be tough with two. I think you could realistically get away with this car with two children. Yeah, and, and you, you can you can care less about driving and have this. Yeah, and you can get great fuel economy mm -hmm. with a hybrid. You, you can have this over the Tucson because it has a, a part-time volume knob. And I think at the price point, this provides nearly anything in this any anyone in this class is is trying to get. Yeah. And yeah, and I like that the hybrid isn't isn't a huge price penalty. Good, uh, good car Kia. I, I drove it before on the launch event, but you always have to be a bit skeptical when you drive them in those situations where you've been wind and dine and the roads are perfect. And yeah, and they give you the curated presentation before. And, yep, yeah. and you feel like this is the best car ever. Why yeah. doesn't everyone buy these? Exactly. But to get it here in drizzly, crappy Michigan and still enjoy it, and it, it rides well, it drives well, everything yeah. worked really well, um, I, I say good car Kia Sportage. Yeah, I agree. Cool. All right, well. That'll wrap it up for us today. We are not getting wet enthusiasts, so we're going to finish this review inside the car today. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we like to keep things exciting here and switch things up sometimes. Yeah. So, well, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Chris and Charlie with Daily Motor. And as always, Shadow Matt Gray on. I figured you would do the paint. <laughs> you know me too well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Surprised you didn't say Cardinal Red Interior on. Oh right, E30 on. There that would have go. been a good one. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it could be your thumbnail text. Pretty much an E30. <laughs> Basically an E30. <laughs> Basically. I bet there's somebody out there that has a matte gray E30 with Cardinal Red Interior. I guarantee it. <laughs> the one that I photographed was gray. It just wasn't matte. Okay. <clears throat> so you know. Maybe whoever buys that E30 can get a Sportage to go with it. Yeah, it would totally match. If you have an E30. Message in the, in, the, in the comments here. I'd be curious if you stumble across this review and made it to the very, very end if Chris loses it. Yeah, this will probably go after the outro. So. Okay. Okay, drive on. Yeah.